Hello everybody, this is Mario Gassadis and today I'm going to be showing you how to projection map image sequences onto geometry because I could not figure out how to do this at all. There was nothing online to help so I just decided to finally take it into my own hands and figure it out and now I'm going to show you guys how to do it. Yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so I have an almost fresh scene here. The only thing that I have is just the background footage and the 3D geometry that I modeled from the 3D camera track that I did in After Effects. So the first thing we're gonna do is just open up the node editor and this is just gonna make things easier as we go along. We're gonna go ahead and click the geometry that you wanna map to and we're gonna go to materials, new material and we're just gonna name this projection and I'm gonna change this to an emission shader. Also in the node editor, we're gonna change this to the materials and um, there we go. So now we have the emission shader right here and we're just gonna go ahead and go shift A, add um, an image texture. All right, so now I'm gonna select the uh, footage that I have. And the reason why the footage is here is because I have it in the movie clip editor, but if it's not, I just open it up, click the first image and then click open and all that stuff. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put the color into the color. Uh, this is on image sequence. I have 95 frames. And then also, since my image sequence doesn't start at 1, I have to offset it. Uh, it starts at 167, just because I named it wrong. So you shouldn't really have that issue, but if you do, just uh, go ahead and play with the offset till you get it to the right frame. All right, so now that we have that done, we're gonna go ahead and move on to UVs. So you're just gonna go ahead and click on your object. I use a smart UV project, but I think pretty much any of them work, just as long as you have UVs. So I'm going to go ahead and smart UV project and there we go. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and go into the modifiers for our object. We're going to click that and we're going to add a UV project modifier. All right, so this took a lot of fiddling to get right, but I'm going to go ahead and show you how it's going to work for any image. So we're going to go ahead and for the projector, select our camera as our object. We're going to go ahead and just select our UV map as our UV map. All right, so if we go ahead and um, look in the camera, it looks sort of okay, but as you can see, like right here, there's some like weird things going on, and I couldn't figure out what it was, but then I finally figured out it's because there's not enough uh, resolution on our geometry. And so instead of actually just subdividing here, what I do is we're gonna go ahead and add just a subdivision surface modifier, and we're gonna move it up in the stack. And the reason why we do this is because I don't like to like mess with the original uh, geometry like if I want to add less set subdivisions then I would have to like delete loops so we're gonna do it here all right and I found that four works for this so I'm gonna go ahead and do four and um, this is what a four looks like and we need to change this to simple so if you don't want your geometry to change just go ahead and click simple and that's just gonna leave it but but subdivide it so now if we look at it through the camera and we turn on materials you can see that we don't have that weird uh, warping anymore. So if I just shut it off and on, you can see how it's being fixed. And the more subdivisions you add, the more accurate it is. So like uh, six gives you really accurate, almost like pixel to pixel. But yeah, so there we go. That's fixed. All right. But finally, you'll see that we have one more problem and that that's that the uh, the image does not fit inside the camera resolution. In fact, it's pretty stretched in the uh, y direction right here or the z direction or whatever so um that's an easy fix what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go to our resolution and uh whatever resolution of your camera is you're going to go ahead and get your calculator out and you're going to divide so i'm going to take the uh x uh, horizontal pixels which is 1920 and we're going to divide it by the bottom which is 1080 and that's going to give you your aspect ratio and for me that's 1.7777 repeating so i'm going to go ahead and go to our modifier go to the uv project and for the x aspect ratio i'm just going to go ahead and type 1.77778 all right so now you can see that the image fits really well now into the camera and um, that part took me forever to figure out. All right, so as you can see right here, our image sequence is finally mapped onto our geometry. Now, as you can see, it's like repeating everywhere. And if you don't want it to repeat, just go ahead and go to the image texture in your shader 
and change the repeat to like clip and now that it's clipped um, if we use extend it's just going to try to extend the pixels out but yeah you can mess with these different things and you'll get different results i'm just going to go ahead and leave it on clip and now if we play through this you can see that our image sequence is mapped to the geometry and uh, it matches really well Oh yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope this was helpful because I could not find this anywhere online and I was like, I've been trying to do this for a couple weeks already and I could not figure it out. But then I finally just, uh, like, it just clicked after I downloaded the UV project file from the Blender website and then I learned how it worked in Blender Render and then I tried to like match those settings in cycles and finally I got a result that worked. So yeah, I hope this helps you out. Um, that's going to be the end of this tutorial, just a quick one here. If you have any suggestions for other tutorials, just go ahead and let me know in the comments down below. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching and bye.